The calculator property page on the Spectrum Processing dialog window can be used to man manipulate data in a number of forms. Normalization is one form that can be based on an energy channel or based on a peak maximum within a range of energies. But another form is that of scaling data based on counts per second within a region. And in, what we'll do is we will prepare a set of gold spectra based on a region so that we can scale these data. Some of them will have been measured at different pass energies and therefore the intensities are not in a similar range. So the scaling operation will bring all of these data into the same intensity range and then we'll divide a set of spectra by one that represents a, a standard NPL corrected transmission corrected gold spectrum and therefore we'll be able to characterize the transmission of this instrument at least in this case we're going to look at different operating modes for pass energy 80 spectra have been acquired from a gold sample so we first of all define a region then a scale factor and then we select the set of spectra for which we want to do the scaling and then CPS scale selection will adjust all of these data so that they now overlay quite nicely in the, the same intensity range within the, the tile display and then we can copy them to a new file. Now one of the side effects of scaling is that the scaling only occurs for data that have been defined by the region. So we've been able to pick out a range within the survey spectra that are appropriate for the calculation that we're now about to perform. Any, one, any intensity not within the region will have been assigned a value of zero. So we can now define these spectra that we want to perform this calculation on by first of all setting the operand to be the the NPL reference spectrum and then selecting the divide operator and then apply to the browser selection so we've selected the VAMAS blocks and we end up with a set of relative spectra with, with respect to this NPL transmission corrected survey data. Now we could do this operation a second time and this time what we'll do is we'll rather than do, go relative to the NPL data let's look at one of these modes in particular the field of view one is a stigmatic imaging mode that's been used to collect spectra and there were variations in the transmission that we can now see a little better if we perform the same operation but this time dividing by the field of view one pass energy 80 spectrum when viewed relative to the field of view 1 stigmatic mode, the most obvious feature of these traces is that the other stigmatic imaging modes produced spectra that were all very similar in response. The two that were not set up for imaging, the hybrid and the electrostatic, have a, a characteristically different shape. I'll introduce a key so you can see the different modes here. The hybrid and electrostatic uh, were only set up for spectroscopy. Now for the NOVA, all of the modes on the NOVA were set up for stigmatic imaging and so relative to the field of V1 the trace is very uniform. 